All right, hello everyone. This is my professional development video and today I want to talk a little bit about this cool application called Blender. So Blender is an open source 3D modeling software. Um, it has a variety of functionalities, um, but for today's purposes, I just want to go into the modeling aspect, but you could also do uh, animation, rendering, you know, textures, materials, all those different things for um, 3D models. And I think they're just re recently getting into um, 2D animation and they just do a whole bunch of different things and it's a very cool open source software. Um, so today I thought it would be very cool if I could just take a little cube and make a chair out of it. Um, just show you some of the the cool functionalities from it. So here I am in Blender's kind of main um, main layout, their initial start layout. Um, and the start scene always starts with a cube, a camera, and a light. So we're not really gonna get into the camera and the light um, because those are more for the rendering aspects of it. Uh, we just wanna focus on changing this cube and modeling it so it looks like a chair. So I'm gonna go over to this modeling tab and it changes me into this edit mode. And as you can see, the cube looks a little different. It has these, these dots here at the edges. So these are vertices. Um, and uh, 3D objects, they are just a collection of, of vertices. Um, and these vertices connect to make edges. So that's just a, a connection between two vertice vertices. Um, and faces, which is just a close connection between edges. So I'm gonna use this and all of these tools here to turn this cube into a chair. So the first thing that I need to do is change this into the seat of the chair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select everything and I'm going to scale this cube just on the Z axis um, to just kind of squish it and flatten it a little bit. I'm gonna hold control and that will kind of do it in steps for me. So I'm gonna do a thickness about there for the seat. Um, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a few cuts into our cube so we could make a back and some legs. So there's this cool tool called loop cut, which allows me to do even cuts kind of through the middle of, uh, of this cube. So I'm gonna do it on this edge and I'm gonna do two cuts, two even cuts. Oop. There we go two even cuts, and then I'm gonna do it along here. I'm gonna do two more even cuts. And this gives me more, more vertices, more edges, more faces, so I can manipulate this 3D model. So right now I'm gonna go back to the select, and I'm gonna select faces. And I'm gonna select these three for the back of our chair. And I'm gonna select these four for the legs of our chair. So now that I have these selected, I can go ahead and use a cool tool called Extrude Along Normals. So using that, I'm gonna go ahead and extrude these, going this way, and there we go. We're making a back and some legs of a chair. Um, but these legs are a little long. This is more of a kind of a bar stool. So I'm gonna just turn this into a normal chair. And I'm gonna do that by deselecting everything and then just selecting the faces at the bottom. I will get my select tool and then hold shift, select multiple faces, and then use this move tool, and once again, along the Z axis to just move it, like so, right? And now we got kind of a more normal looking chair. Um, so just finish this off and show off one more tool in the 3D modeling aspect. I'm gonna use this bevel tool because this looks pretty sharp. This looks like a sharp chair that not a lot of people would wanna sit on. So I will just go ahead once and select everything and bevel it all. And then if I just click and hold a little bit, going, ooh, that was crazy. Um, just a little bit like this. Now we're just beveling the edges and that smooths out our chair and that looks a lot more comfortable. So uh, there are a million things that one could use with Blender. This is just a few of the tools that I learned um, and I'm excited to get more into it. Okay, thanks for watching, bye.